I've got an entire night of gaming. I really need some milk. Oh no! Do I choose the four day old expired milk? Or waste that milk and use the new milk? What do I do? Hey everybody, Zach here. Last year I sat down to watch, I mean play, Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1 for the very first time. It was not only an enjoyable experience, but one with a ton of different emotions. Everything from the occasional scare to sadness from the loss of characters. And then there was full on anger from characters being stupid and you kinda, you know, wish that those were the characters that died. Nevertheless, it was a pretty wild ride. Recently, I was looking back at my experience with this game, and not only has it been six years since season one has been released, but the final season is about to be released. So I wanted to share with you just a few things that you should know before you play Telltale's The Walking Dead. Right off the bat, there will be absolutely no spoilers in this video, and make sure you watch all the way to the end so you can find out how you can win a copy of the final season on Steam. The thing I was worried about most going into The Walking Dead was that there was more than a couple of adaptations. I mean, it started as a comic book, became a TV show, and then it became the game we're talking about today. And now we're even getting some other weird video game adaptation of it by Overkill. Well, I'm glad to announce that you don't have to watch or read anything else in this series to enjoy Telltale's The Walking Dead. In fact, you can go completely blind into the series. That's what I did. I still haven't read the comic. I still haven't watched the TV show. I still want to. I still plan on doing that and I will cover those material probably on this show at some point. But I, uh, you don't have to at all get into those other mediums if you don't want to, but you want to get into this game. Decisions, decisions. Every choice can affect the outcome of your game. The next thing you want to know is that your choices do matter in this game. Kind of? There's really only a handful of pivotal moments that end up affecting the rest of your game. Explaining what these choices are would be completely into spoiler territory, but I will say that while these decisions do impact your game to a certain extent, the overall story stays relatively the same for everybody at the end of the day. But as far as the actual story goes, I think there's too much emphasis on choices impacting the story in the marketing of this game more so than them actually impacting the story. One of the things that's important to know about Telltale games in general is that they do have a very distinct style. They are much more like movies and TV shows than they are video games. However, because of their interactive nature, I do think this this allows you to be more immersed into their games. Many games force you to master their controls and mechanics in order to get a full experience, which is all great and I wouldn't play those games if I didn't enjoy that about them. But what's refreshing about the Telltale style is that they take a more minimalist approach by focusing more on storytelling, but not only that, also decision making and character development. What this means to me and what I really enjoy about the Walking Dead series is that you get attached to the characters. And I don't even mean the characters that you're gonna get attached to and you know, you end up losing them and you get sad. I mean, some of them you're even gonna end up hating so much that you're like, yo, I really wish this character would die. And then you get the opportunity to let them die by letting them fall to their death. Like, oh, what my fault, what my fault. That didn't happen in the video game, I'm just saying. Hashtag no spoilers. The other thing that's really important about The Walking Dead is you're going to be immersed in the story and the characters that, oh no, you're about to lose your shit because all of a sudden QTEs is happening and I'm not up to my keyboard. What is going on? It's kind of stupid. Th this happens every once in a while. QTEs are a thing in this game. Keep that in mind. I don't like this, but it's important to know. No, you 
you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. Last but not least, each season or game in the Walking Dead series is broken into five different individual episodes. It takes roughly about two hours to beat each episode, so I found it best and probably the most refreshing to play each episode separately on different days. You can take breaks during each episode, so don't feel pressured to sit there and play the entire thing in one sitting. Each episode is kind of like a movie. It usually has some kind of flow to it. It starts off slow with some simple tasks and character interactions, goes into a climax like most movies and TV shows do, and video games usually. Video games usually have climaxes too. And then after the climax, you usually have the fall in the narrative. And that's how every single episode typically goes, except for the last episode, which typically has the biggest climax because it's ending the season and it sets you up for the next season. At the end of the day, I think the best way to enjoy any game is to jump straight into it. I personally love season one of The Walking Dead. I'll be jumping into the other seasons very, very soon. I plan on streaming them on twitch.tv slash Zack Snyder Productions and since the final season of The Walking Dead is coming out on August 14th, I decided to do my very first giveaway on the channel. So, if you want to get that giveaway, you can check out the link in the description box below, click on that, and you can earn entries to be a part of the giveaway. The giveaway ends on August 14th when the game gets announced. And I'll be doing another video about The Walking Dead series. I'm going to be breaking up the decisions from season one, and I will announce the winner at the end of that video. I can't waste milk. Thank you so much for watching this Zack Snyder original. We'll be back next week for another video somewhere in nerd culture. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that notification bell and the subscribe button. You can hit it in that order if it lets you. I don't know, did I get the order mixed up? I've recorded this outro so many times, so please, please forgive me. If you are not subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see a madman be even crazier every single Friday. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye. Oh, I feel horrible. Why did I drink that milk?